Water, a gift from the snow-capped peaks. A ribbon of life flowing through Alberta. For the families growing our potatoes, it's the very heart of a successful harvest. The promise of abundance. And taking care of this water, using it wisely, isn't just good practice here. It's a deep, deep commitment. It means healthy potatoes for our tables, a thriving local landscape, and knowing we're doing our part for the wider world. So how does this incredible journey of water, from majestic mountains to the food we share, truly begin? Yeah, for sustainability around irrigation, I mean, water is extremely valuable. We know that we're, we're often rationed or limited on water. It depends on snowfall in the year, glacier fed. So we have to be responsible with that water. The journey basically starts from the Rocky Mountains and eventually comes from winter snowpack that melts during the spring runoff and that turns into water that feeds the St. Mary River. We're very unique here in the world, actually. We have the Rocky Mountains to the west of us here. And traditionally, we do get a fair amount of snowpack in those mountains every year. The spring comes along, we get the snow melt. That water does come down off of the Rockies into the rivers, and in turn is captured into the irrigation districts here in southern Alberta. Rocky Mountain snow shed water is phenomenal to grow all types of crops, and potatoes are no different from that about a 312 kilometer journey up the main canal all the way from Milk River Ridge Reservoir all the way to Medicine Hat. But it's also critical for municipalities, particularly in Southern Alberta. Our irrigation infrastructure actually provides the water for many of the small towns and hamlets, probably starting around Tabor and heading east almost all the way to Medicine Hat. Industry, we play a big part. We provide the water that's used for processing in the agri-food business, and some of the water we provide is for Atlantic Sugar in Tabor or the Lamb Western Potato Plant in Purple Springs. MD of Tabor is serviced by the St. Mary's Irrigation District and the Bow River Irrigation District. It is our potable water source from Lethbridge all the way to Medicine Hat. So a lot of low pressure center pivot irrigation, limiting you know, evaporation, uh, capitalizing on application efficiency. So we were one of the first to install a full-scale variable rate irrigation machine, taking everything from weather data, humidity, you know, per chance precipitation, taking that all in and locking it into, you know, what is the actual moisture in the soil and putting that all together to build decisions. Well, this pivot is a 3,000 gallon a minute pivot. Basically, it's irrigating 500 acres. It all puts on an even rate across the field. So the pivot sprinklers on the middle of the pivot or in the, in the inside of the pivot are putting on less water per minute, as opposed to these ones on the end are putting, they're putting on quite a bit of water as this pivot comes around. And we can put on four tenths of an inch in 20 hours over the whole 500 acres with this pivot. For the right time, the right place, the right amount. And, and it applies for us, I think, foremost water in our, in our drier climate. We have world-class irrigation systems in use here in Southern Alberta. We have a very intensive agronomy program that our growers use. So it's basically boots on the ground every day in some cases where they're going in, they're sampling the soils, knowing what exactly that plant needs. And in turn, then we apply the water. Process plants use a lot of water as well. And they are very conscious of reusing, recycling the water as many times as possible before it actually goes into wastewater and back out onto the crop. Our farmers in our region are experts. They are utilizing technology that is spot specific as far as watering their crops, ensuring that that water goes much further than it ever has before. They can determine which part of the field needs more water, which can get by with less water. It's phenomenal how irrigators are able to utilize the least amount of water to get the crop that they need to be successful in the growing season. We are using much less water than we were using 40 years ago and actually being able to irrigate many more acres than we were using 40 years ago. 
We know that every dollar invested in irrigation has a return of $3.56. The job rates that come within those plants from electricians to plumbers to businesses, and we're seeing that in the growth and development in MD of Tabor and the surrounding community. We have developed the Horsefly Spillway, which has been incredible project that's been funded by the province and the federal government and all the local municipalities along that route. Canada's premier food corridor is focused around irrigation. The ability to have that constant year-round supply of water and the same quality throughout the course of the year enables us to be a part of this. For example, McCain's expansion would be a direct correlation of us being able to expand growth within southern Alberta because due to quality, producers are very, very good about crop rotation and you need land mass to be able to do that. And the fact that we are going to be able to open up more irrigation within southern Alberta is going to allow those processors to be able to expand and, and not just feed local and Canadian consumers, but those products are being shipped all over the world because there is a ferocious appetite for potatoes around the world. If you look at their ESG goals and, and they're very climate aware and planet friendly sort of practice, we are all aligned on doing better with that resource. So I would suggest everybody driving down the road, if it feels like the water is being wasted, well, Think about that when you, you know, are eating your next french fry or potato chip or <laughs> baked potato in the oven. It all comes from, from that water resource and it's a, it's a circular system. So water is not being truly lost. It's captured and helps build nutrient density in our food chain. You see, the story of Alberta's potatoes is inseparable from the story of its water. They grow together, thrive together. And the families who farm this land understand that deeply. Caring for these shared waters is like caring for their own future. It's why you'll find them always looking for better ways, embracing new ideas and clever techniques to use every drop with respect, ensuring plenty for the potatoes and for all of us. Because they know, just like we all do, that without this vital water, the simple magic of growing food, of feeding families near and far, just wouldn't be possible.